vlogmas. I am currently getting ready for the gym. We are gonna go and have a nice little workout this morning. I'm feeling nice and energized today, ready to move my body. I'm feeling good. You guys know I'm a big believer in look good, feel good. So I like to put on, you know, something for the gym, not like full makeup, but I'll do some bronzing drops, maybe some Benetton. And I also got some new workout outfits in the mail that I really wanna wear today. So we'll go through those and pick which outfit we wanna wear today. I'm really excited. There's nothing better than getting cute new workout outfits. It just makes you so motivated. It's actually like 12.30 when I'm starting this vlog right now, just cause I had a little bit of a late start to my morning um, due to work. I was like editing all morning and answering emails, but now I'm ready to go. I usually don't go to the gym this late. Like I try to go 10 a.m., 10.30 the latest usually. So I'm very interested to see how I feel at the gym going a little bit later. Cause I always feel like my energy is just the highest and right first thing in the morning. Cause I'm just a morning person type of girl. So my energy decreases as the day goes on. And I feel like by the afternoon time I start to get like lazy. I don't know, but we'll see. I'm feeling good. So I feel like I'll be fine. We're gonna push through, but Let's get dressed now. I can't wait to show you guys the new pieces that I got. These workout sets that I'm about to show you guys are from Whiskey Active. This is my first time trying anything from this brand and I'm so excited to try them on. They have such cute aesthetic workout sets with all different styles and different cuts to choose from. Every time I would see someone wearing one of their sets, I was like, that is so cute. I need to have it and I'm so excited to finally be giving them a try. I picked out two sets and one extra top that I can like mix and match with each other. So I'm gonna be trying them on. We'll go over what we think about the feel, the fit, and we'll pick out which one we want to wear today. So let's do it. Here is the first set. I am so obsessed. I'm not even kidding you guys. These are the most comfortable leggings I've ever put on my body. I literally can't get over it. They feel so soft and so comfortable, but I also feel supported if you know what I mean. Like the perfect workout legging to me is one that I feel good in and that I feel like is keeping me together and supported, but also feels super comfortable and I don't feel like restricted in any way, shape or form. As you can see, it's this Heather Gray soft little workout set. The top is so unique. I've never seen a workout top like this in my life. It is so amazing for somebody who like loves having their like arms free and they don't like having like sleeves for their like workout workout sets. This is so comfortable. I love the unique little one strap. This top also has padding built into it that you can actually remove, which is my favorite feature ever because sometimes I want them, sometimes I don't. Usually I take them out, but it's always nice to have the option. Since we're going to the gym today and it's freezing out, I want to try on my next outfit because it's a little bit covered up. So let me put that one on, but for now, one last look at the Heather Gray. I love it. It has some gold detailing on the back too with the little logo. I'm in love. Okay, here's the next set. This is in all white. I love an all white moment so much. And white leggings really puts it to the test of how good the quality of the legging is by seeing if it's see-through or not. And I can testify that these are not see-through whatsoever. The material is the perfect amount of thickness. You feel nice and covered up. You're not exposed. The material is that like buttery, soft, smooth material that is so comfortable and also snatches you right up. I am obsessed with it. These leggings also have that crisscross lining over here, which you guys know I love. I'm always scared to get white leggings because I'm like, what if they're see-through? What if you see my underwear? Like, I don't want to be thinking about that when I'm like doing workouts and squatting. The top is so cute and so comfortable. First of all, look at how cute this cut is. I love it and I love the sleeves, how it looks like a half short sleeve shirt, half tank top, which I love. And I also appreciate how both of these sets I can wear in my everyday life as regular outfits, or I can also wear them to work out, to go for a run, to go to a yoga class. I just love when things have multiple purposes because this top literally looks like a top I would wear out. Now the last thing that I got is another top and it is long sleeve so I feel like that may be a good contender to wear today since it is freezing out. And here it is. I am so obsessed with this top guys. Can't get over it. I'm definitely wearing this today because it is so cute. I love it. This is the exact same material as the leggings so these go hand in hand. They are a perfect match. I love them. It's that same thick buttery soft material. It's super comfortable. My arms don't feel restricted. Like it is just checking all my boxes. And of course, look how cute it is. Like 
I literally would wear this top out. This is so cute. The all white moment is such a statement and I, I'm obsessed. So for the gym today, I decided to wear the white and the gray. I'm doing a little mix match moment. These are my two favorites from this little haul. I love a little white and gray combo always. So I also just wanted to show you guys how well these look together and I am absolutely obsessed. I love it. I feel so comfortable and ready to go to the gym. I'm so excited now that I love these pieces and if you guys want to check them out, I will have Whiskey Active linked in my description and I will also have my discount code. If you guys want to go and shop, you can get 15% off if you use this code. I will also link these down below as well as give you all the information just in case you forget. But yeah, go check out the description. Let's head to the gym and get our bodies moving. I just turned my camera on to start vlogging and I accidentally bit my tongue so hard. It's literally bleeding. Ow. Oh my God. I bit down on my tongue so hard because I'm chewing gum. Oh my God. That just completely threw me off. Anyways, I'm on my way to the gym now. It is freezing outside. I have my big coat on. I'm excited to go and sweat. I'm gonna try to sweat as much as I possibly can. I'm gonna be doing 12 3 30 on the treadmill. Usually I will try my best to get to 30 minutes, but like some days it's just like way too hard for me. So I don't like put too much pressure on it. Just do as much as I could. It's fine if I don't reach the 30 minutes, you know? Usually when I go to the gym alone, I get kind of scared to do anything else in the gym just because I'm literally the most socially anxious person, especially in a gym setting. It's very intimidating to me. But the treadmill, I feel like I could just go on there, do my thing, and be done. So that's probably what I'll do today, but we'll see if I maybe have the confidence to go and do something else. I'll do that as well, but I don't know. I get really scared at the gym for some reason. So I like to like go with like a gym buddy usually, but no one is available to go with me to the gym. And I want to show up for myself and I want to still go because I've been trying to go at least a few times a week and I really didn't go that much this week. But that's what's getting me through, knowing that I'm technically not alone, I have you guys. And I'm going to show up for not only myself, but I'm going to show up for you guys as well. And we're going to do this. And if you also have the same kind of anxiety about going to the gym, just find one thing that you feel semi-confident doing on your own. Like, let's say just going on the treadmill or going on the stairs. Maybe the more you do it, you'll get more comfortable and you'll be able to add other things on. We could be in this journey together. We are girl bosses and that's, that's all. We did it guys. I did a full 30 minutes today and honestly, I haven't done that in weeks. Let me tell you, I literally am usually struggling and like can barely get to 20, but I actually did 30 whole minutes today and I'm very proud of myself. Like I really think that you guys helped to motivate me. Like honestly, the hardest part is like it gets so boring but you need to just like push through. And I also thought that I would add that this workout set performed so well. It always comes down to how the set actually feels when you're like working out and sweating. Not like absorbs the sweat, but like, I don't know, just literally how it feels when you're sweating. And it still feels so comfortable. I am very pleasantly surprised. I am so happy that I did that. Like I feel amazing. There's nothing better than the feeling after you're done working out. That is literally the best feeling ever. This sunset right now. <gasps> Oh my god the serotonin right now i'm gonna go home now i'm gonna shower we did good girls we, we all should be proud of ourselves today <laughs> I say this in every vlog, but like it is really so challenging to think of something new to eat every single day Especially for somebody who like I'm just not a good cook. You know what I mean? I just feel like maybe one day when I have my own apartment I have my own kitchen and I can cook without you know people bothering me <laughs> I don't know I feel like that would maybe give me the motivation and inspire me to learn how to cook and learn to love it but for now it's like I get motivation to cook. I do follow this recipe. Somehow I mess up and it comes out awful and I hate the way it tastes and then I, I don't even have a dinner. So I, it always just discourages me from like cooking and finding recipes. And I also am just the worst at getting groceries. Like that's another thing I'm just like not motivated to do, to do is to go grocery shopping, which I know is terrible and I really should go and stop ordering in as much. So, Honestly, that's definitely one of my goals. I need to start prioritizing. However, the ship has sailed on that today. 
so I need to figure out what I should get for dinner. I want to get something kind of healthy since I'm on this track of you know working out and feeling good let me know down below if you guys have any good recipes that you just like can't live without and you're always using because i need new ones to work into my little meal schedule i'm also like a very picky eater which makes things just 10 times harder so anyways enough of me complaining i'm gonna do a little bit of hair care since i just washed it i'm like letting the towel soak up some moisture and then we desperately need to figure out what to eat because i'm so hungry I keep all of my hair care in this little pull-out cart right here. I got it from Target, and it's so nice to just, like, be able to pull it out, grab what I need. Let's find actually what I need. I think I'm going to use some K18. I love this leave-in conditioner from Way. I'm, like, almost out of it. What else can I use? I think that's good for now, honestly. I'm not planning to really do much with my hair. I just want to put a little bit of product in it. Do the K18 first. Now you're supposed to, like rub it in your hands first till it gets like that white consistency and then pop it in your hair every time i look back at old pictures from when i first started dyeing my hair like when i would just get little baby highlights and i had like a balayage like my hair was basically touched by bleach i get so upset because it was so thick like i had the thickest hair i didn't even know um and it's just so significant how much thinner my hair got which i knew was gonna happen and i just love being blonde so i was like i will sacrifice it but when you really see the side by side comparison it just hurts a little bit it stings i'm not gonna lie <laughs> because like you honestly don't really notice it when it's over time and it's like slowly but surely but then when you see that side by side girl girl it has me contemplating my life i'm like whoa that's crazy so yeah it's really upsetting but i just feel like i can't go back to being a brunette i just can't like maybe one day i'll do like brunette with like some highlights and it won't be like so intensive blonde i just don't know if I'll, i would ever go back to being fully brunette i just really don't think it suits me everyone yells at me to do it on the internet but just telling you guys i'm telling you i look better with some blonde. I truly believe that she will make a comeback and my thick hair will return one day. If I take good enough care. Yay. So fresh and clean. This is the best feeling ever. I feel amazing. Now it's time to figure out what to eat. Usually I'll eat with like my sisters or Sam. So we'll just all decide what we want and we'll get it or we'll make it. So it's about that time where we have to figure it out. So. I'm gonna do that and I'll let you know what we decide. Okay guys, a lot later now I had dinner. I had a really good wrap. Little grilled chicken Greek salad wrap. It was very good with some sweet potato fries. Amazing. Now, it's a little bit later. My hair has air dried. I'm probably just gonna leave it like this and I'll just do it tomorrow i'll like figure out how to style it but now i'm going to wrap some more gifts i feel like this is going to just become a daily occurrence in these vlogmas vlogs because every day new gifts come in and i i just i just love wrapping so i like to wrap them pretty much as soon as they come in and as soon as i like finish someone's gift and like all of the pieces come together i like to wrap them so today i have some new gifts to wrap they're all right here on my bed and i have my little wrapping paper that i've been using and we're gonna have another little wrapping sesh i've been doing so many of these together and they're so fun wrap some gifts <laughs> session was very successful i wrapped pretty much all of the gifts that i had just laying around so now all the new gifts that come in i will just wrap those but for now we're up to date on the wrapping and i'm very happy about it sam helped a lot he's here studying he's actually really good at wrapping he's actually better than me and i didn't think that that was true but it is 
So yeah, we wrapped up a lot of our gifts that we had, all of the little gifts that I got from my niece. I wrapped those up, which is so fun. I like just like, I literally am like playing with the toys that I got her. Now I've just been editing for a little bit. I quickly edited a whole video just now. I'm like about to export it, but I'm really proud of myself that I just quickly edited it. It was a very short vlog. This is like my shortest vlogmas vlog that I just edited. That was a little unfortunate because I like my vlogs to be a little long, but listen it's gonna happen during vlogmas there's just gonna be some days that are shorter than others <laughs> now i'm a lucky girl and i get to go to sleep because i'm so tired thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today i love you guys so so much i will see you tomorrow and i hope you have a beautiful rest of your day good night mm -hmm.